Michigan. I'm excited. Uh, we got a big sold out crowd here. There was a, a super long line out the door. I think Michigan fans are excited. Uh, it looks like the weather's holding off for now. Uh, yeah, and we're uh, getting started right here. And Michigan feeding the ball outside. Number three. Dribbling the ball down the sideline, fouled, and Michigan will have their first free kick of the game in the opening minute. Looks like number 16, Gabrielle Perch, is kicking it in. Sends the ball into the box, a little shallow, and it is picked up by the Michigan State defense. Number seven, Mueller, on the ball right now. Ball goes out of bounds for a Michigan throw in. Ball thrown in by Tolbert to the Michigan midfield. Pass to number four, Bosley. Number 26, dribbling. Ball goes out of bounds for a Spartans throw in. Got number eight, Reagan Cox throwing the ball in. Ball goes into number 12. That's going to be Wicks. Back to the midfield. Illig dribbling, sending the ball up the field to number seven, Mueller. Sargent chasing after that ball, yet it goes back to Michigan's goalkeeper, Swarkowski. Peters lays the ball off to Brendan Stein. And the ball ultimately ends up back with the Michigan with the Michigan State defense with Gaynor. Gaynor feeds the ball to Cox. Pushing it up the field. Najira dribbling. Number eight. Najira driving towards the goal. Intercepted by the Michigan defense. Zuge driving up the field oh. and is promptly fouled by the Michigan State defense. That's going to be a second free kick for the Michigan Wolverines. Number three, Sammy Woods throwing it in. Ball goes back to the Michigan defense. Peters. And the ball is stolen by Michigan State, who is promptly tackled right outside of the box. That's going to be Michigan State's first free kick of the game. Looks like the player down is Sargent. And Michigan State's going to have their first big chance of the night. Fouled by Peters on Michigan's side in a dangerous spot outside of the box. Ball goes over the net by Michigan State. All right, Michigan about to take the ball down the field. Sparkowski ready for the goal kick. Collected by Illig on Michigan State. Ball is quickly cleared by Peters, but Michigan State quickly regains control. Number 26, Lang, steals the ball from Michigan State. Michigan is driving up the field, yet is unfortunately called for offside, so Michigan State is going to have their another free kick. Caitlin Park's the goalie. Caitlin Park, double zero on Michigan State. The goalkeeper from Kentwood, Michigan. 
Ball is kicked out to Hallier. League intercepts for the Wolverines, yet Hallier takes control right back, who passes it to pass it straight back to the Michigan defense and Tolbert to clear. Gaynor back on the ball right now, dri trying to dribble forward for the Spartans. Attempts to get it to Wicks, who is driving towards the goal, driving, driving, the shot. Over the net. And it's over. Great opportunity there from the Spartans. Definitely getting a couple early shots on goal. Yeah. And Sparkowski to take another goal kick. Some early takeaways from this game. I think it's going to be a tough defensive battle. Definitely. Both sides seem to be doing a great job of defending the ball, especially the Spartans who have had a cup, who have broken through the Michigan defense a couple of times. Ball is fed up to Sargent, but is quickly cleared by the Michigan defense. Bosley on the ball right now. And oh, a and it's bit stolen of a by Michigan State. Number 19, Sargent driving towards the goal, lays it off to Wicks, passes it back to Sargent. Sargent with the cross, and it's out of bounds. Michigan State's coming up with their first corner of the game. Looks like the cross took a deflection off the Wolverines. There's a whistle. All right, Michigan State set to kick the ball in for the first corner of tonight's match. Let's see if they can get ball a better shot up. on goal than they've had so far. Quickly cleared by the Michigan defense, headed out. Michigan State recovers, and currently Hallier on the ball, looking to cross it in. Michigan able to clear, ending up ball ending up with Emily Zuge. Michigan battling for it, wins it back. Though it appears there was a foul on Michigan player and Michigan to kick the ball back in. Number 34 on Michigan and Iowa League tonight has been key to stopping the ball and giving Michigan possession. Um, definitely key to the defense tonight. Exactly. Michigan State steals the ball back from the Wolverines. Driving towards the goal. Pass intended for number 19, Pritch in the box. Michigan State still with the ball, number 12. And Caitlin Parks. Oh, sorry. And Excuse Michigan me, goalie. Stephanie Sparkowski recovers the ball. Sparkowski holding on to the ball, punts it up the field. Peters attempted to clear. Michigan State wins the ball back. Pass towards Mueller, who is promptly fouled. Mueller on the ground currently right now for the Spartans and they are awarded another free kick. Michigan's gonna have to get the ball onto Michigan State's side. Michigan State has definitely had more opportunities to score so far. Definitely, a very aggressive game from both teams so far. A couple fouls already being called on both sides. It looks like the players lined up to potentially take this free kick are Najira and Dalton discussing their plan of action. Stephanie Sparkowski ready to defend. Najira set to take that free kick, crosses it in. Oh! At number 15. And the ball slowly bounces outside of the box. A little commotion in there. Cleared by Michigan defender Peters. Fantastic clear right there. Great stop. Taking a look at the replay again. Peters does a fantastic job to quickly flick that ball away as far away from the goal as possible. Michigan throws it in. So far, it seems to me they've been struggling to uh, really get down the field and play some offense. Exactly. Michigan State's doing a fantastic job of weaving through Michigan's defense and is able to quick, has been able to quickly take charge of this game. Michigan to clear. 
Attempted clear did not land too far outside of their box. Shot by number Another 18. Another save by Sparkowski. Shot by number 18, Gaynor. Saved by Sparkowski. The ball is punted up the field by Sparkowski, yet is quickly recovered by the Spartan defense. Michigan's number two, Zuge, battling for that ball right now. The ball slips through the Michigan State defense, but with no one to run onto it, it goes back to Taylor Michigan Parks. State's goalie, Taylor Parks. Gaynor on the ball, passes it to Hallier. Hallier driving up the field, passes it to the other Gaynor sister, which is recepted by the Michigan defense. Michigan pushing up the field. Lang with the ball right now, driving. Lays it off to Kalita. Attempts to pass it to Pritch in the box. And it's stopped by number 15, Celia Gaynor. And the Wolverines are going to have their first corner kick of the game. Ball goes into the box, is saved by Parks. A couple players down on the pitch right now. Michigan's number 34, currently down, seems to be clutching her face. That's going to be a Nia League. Michigan medical staff running out to the field right now. Jesse, what did you think of Michigan's first real attempt on goal of the evening? Um, well, speaking of goalies, uh, Stephanie Sparkowski is a senior goalie, super experienced, um, and she's she's had uh, some really good saves tonight um, that have been key to uh, keeping Michigan in this game so far. And it's interesting comparing her to Michigan State's goalie, Caitlin Parks, who is a graduate student. Um, both these goalies have a lot of experience, and it'll be interesting to see uh, who can come out on top tonight. Exactly, I completely agree. Anaya League receiving a little bit of medical attention out on the field right now as both teams check in with their coaches on the sidelines. I know Michigan players are really hoping League is okay. She's been a key to this game so far, um, had some good stops on defense, um, and hopefully she'll be back in this. Definitely. She's been instrumental to Michigan's high ranking this season, and Michigan sitting at number 14, Michigan State currently unranked. Though they are both tied in the Big Ten right now with three wins, one tie, and one loss. Jesse, since both teams' records are fairly even, yet Michigan is so highly ranked compared to Michigan State, why do you think that's the case? Well, I think one thing about tonight is it's a huge rivalry game. Um, so despite rankings, um, you never know who can come out on top. Exactly. Looks like... Anaya League is slowly coming off the field. We'll see if Michigan elects to put in a sub or if they are going to wait for League to get a little more time on the sidelines before she checks back in. It's going to be a kick from the box of Michigan State by Parks to restart the action. Fans are cheering for Anaya League as she walks off. Uh, hopefully she can get back in this game. Totally. All right, back in action. Parks passes to Illig, who passes to Cox. Ball goes back to Cox. Sends the long ball up for Michigan State number 19, Sargent, yet that is cleared away by the University of Michigan defenders. And number 14, Bosley on the ball right now, sends it up for Michigan. Straight on to, oh, Zuge in the box and oh, a collision and with the Michigan State goalie, Parks. Great opportunity there for the Wolverines as they're able to get finally get a couple good chances on the bowl. Zuge does end up colliding with Parks. After the collision, Caitlin Parks gets up. Uh, looks like she's ready to go. And there's the collision right there. Very good save from Parks, knowing Zuge is attempting to charge right onto that ball. Cox with the ball right now, dribbling up the field.
back to Illig, back to Parks. Parks clears it downfield. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, Michigan State goalie Caitlin Parks performs tonight. She's a graduate student from Wake Forest, played her undergrad there. Um, for a lot Number of these players, 19 Sargent driving up the, up the field, cleared by Michigan defense, Peters. Hallier takes control of the ball, lays it off to Gaynor. Taken away by Michigan. Ball is passed up the field for number three, Woods, to run onto. Multiple players crashing the box right now for the Wolverines. The cross goes in. It's blocked by Michigan State, who is able to clear the ball out of the box and have a chance to reset. Number three, Sammy Woods will throw it in. Sammy Woods with an excellent drive right there. Really able to create that chance for her Michigan Wolverines. Ball is thrown in. It is immediately recepted by Michigan State. Dalton clears. Michigan defense able to quickly take control. Bosley on the ball right now. Oh. Zuge feeds it up to Pritch. Pritch chasing that down. Caitlin Parks with the save. Parks lays it off to Hallier. Taken away by Michigan, number 15, Bridenstein. Off to Kalita. Threads it through to Zuge. Zuge in the box. Unable to get a touch on it, and that ball will roll out for a goal kick. Goal kick laid off to Illig. Illig to Cox. Cox dribbling up the field. Long ball up to Mueller for Michigan State. Yet that is taken away by the Wolverines. Kalita controlling. Lays it off to Bosley. Bosley to Bridenstein. Bridenstein forced to drive back to Bosley and the ball is ball is booted up the field towards Michigan's forwards, recovered by Michigan State. It's gonna be a throw in for the Wolverines right here. Caitlin Parks doing a great job staying alert and clearing the ball uh, back out. Exactly, Caitlin Parks having a great game so far, but with the Michigan offense turning up the heat, we'll see if she can keep it cool under pressure. Kalita with some fancy footwork and the shot saved by Parks. Quickly lays it out to Cox, who's begun cascading down the field. Quickly stolen by Tolbert, who's driving up the field herself, laying it off to Pritch. Tackled by Hallier to Mueller, over to Cox. Back to Najira and to Illig. Michigan needs to do a better job about getting downfield and controlling the ball when they're on offense. Right now, Michigan State has four shots uh, to Michigan's one. Exactly, although the, the energy seems to be changing as Michigan driving down the field. Cross by Brindenstein took a slight deflection. However, Michigan's still able to control Kalita. And it's looking like League was subbed out for this match, replaced by number 21, Vicki Jones, who has entered the match for the first time. Vicki Jones on the ball. Battle of the 19s right here. Michigan able to take the ball over. That's Gaynor on the ball right now, laying it off to Hallier. Looks like there's a Michigan player down on the field right now. That's gonna be number 26, Lang. As Michigan State continues to drive towards the goal. Mueller on the ball right now. 
Attempted pass to Najira, yet cleared by Michigan. The referee is walking over to downed player number 26, Jenna Lang. And it's looking like they are going to call out Michigan's training staff for the second time this match. I think we've seen, Caitlin, so far that this is an aggressive match. Definitely. Uh, so far we have two Michigan players down. Definitely a lot of physicality between both sides. As you said earlier, Jesse, this is a rivalry match. It's a big deal for to both of these teams. Especially for Michigan State, having a very similar record to the University of Michigan, yet being unranked in comparison to Michigan's 14 ranking. Michigan State feels like they have something to prove tonight. Definitely. As an underdog going on the road in the Big Ten, it's always hard to get a win, so we'll see what happens tonight. Exactly. Big Ten soccer has been incredibly competitive this year. A lots of, lot of great matches that we've seen so far. And this is proving to be one exactly like those others. Michigan State's coming in with a chip on their shoulder, but so far I would say they have the momentum in this game. Four shots on goal um, and definitely showing a lot more aggression. Exactly. In the beginning parts of the game, Michigan State definitely seemed that they were going seemed like they were going to dominate. Yet Michigan has been able to kind of slowly crawl back and have a couple more shots on goal. A couple really good saves by Parks as we're waiting for Jenna Lang as she is still down on the field. Catherine, both teams are huddled up right now. What do you think what do you think they're talking about? Probably just general strategy. Um, now that they've been able to watch their opponent play, kind of getting to pick apart a little bit more about them. I think that's why Michigan was able to have a quick transition because before when Aaliyah League was injured, they were able to kind of group together, chat a little bit, and then come up with a better game plan. And right after that injury, you can see Michigan has really picked up the momentum, whereas Michigan State was very much controlling the game before. Definitely looks like both teams are going to the sideline for a little break. Jenna Lang getting up right now. Getting a little bit of assistance off the field from the trainers. And it looks like Jenna Lang is heading back into the locker room for the night. Definitely unfortunate as Jenna Lang has played a very good game so far. But always better to be safe than sorry, just making sure that her leg is going to be checked out. And both teams are starting to take the field again. Now one from Michigan, number five, Callie Burrell. Callie Burrell comes on the field to replace Lang. She's going to be playing that midfield position. Number eight on Michigan State, Reagan Cox, is going to be throwing the ball. All right, play restarting back here in Ann Arbor. Wicks on the ball right now. Another Michigan State throw in. Cox throws the, balls in, the ball into Sargent. Cross, yet deflected off the Michigan defense for another Spartan corner. It's going to be their second of the game. Number five, Reagan Dalton standing above the ball. Crosses it in towards Gaynor, but is deflected by Michigan. But still bouncing around the box, yet goes out of bounds off the back for a goal kick. Michigan has done a great job of protecting the goal today. Um, Michigan State has four shots on goal, but no goals. Exactly. Michigan State came very close with that corner kick earlier in the game with the ball bouncing around that goal line. Yet Michigan was able to really keep it out. Tobert with the ball right now, lays it off to Peters. Passes it to Bosley. Gets it to Burl for her first touches of the game. 
Taubert getting a little tripped up there, but is able to successfully pass it off to Kalita. Taubert. Pritch with the ball right now. Taken by the Michigan State defense. Cox. Passing it up to Wicks. Taubert wins that battle and lays it back to Peters. Pritch trying to drive up the field is tackled away by Michigan State for a Michigan throw in. Now, if you're the Michigan offense right now, you're looking to get the ball to Sammy Woods, who leads the Wolverines in points this year with 15 points and seven goals. Exactly. Sammy Woods definitely a good target for the Wolverines as they cross the ball into the box right now. And that is a header by Pritch just over the goal. Super, super close to finally getting a ball in the back of the net. And Caitlin Parks uh, saves another one. Exactly. Let's take a look at it here. The cross perfectly in towards that back post. Just a little too high. Exactly. Just a little bit too high. Cox driving. Lays the ball off to Justina Gaynor. Burl getting a few more touches on the ball, driving up. Yet the ball is taken once again by Justina Gaynor. Michigan defense regains control. Peters on the ball right now. Ball bouncing around the Michigan defense is slowly chipped up towards the midfield. Kalita on the ball currently stripped by Michigan State. Yet Michigan is able to quickly recover. Taubert dribbling up the field. Lays the ball off. Ball switches fields to Brindenstein, who's looking to potentially cross that in. There's oh. the attempted cross, blocked by Hallier. Great stop by Hallier to uh, kill the Michigan momentum. Exactly. And the ball goes out of bounds for a Michigan State goal kick. can hear the chants from the Michigan crowd tonight. Definitely a great atmosphere for both teams to play in. Cox, once again, dribbling the ball up the field. Attempts to lay it off to Sargent, who trips. Oh. Sargent in that battle. Unclear right now if that's going to be a free kick or a throw in, looking like a free kick. Sammy Woods kicking it in here. The Wolverines probably look to get the ball back to her. Woods sends it up the field, intended for Zuge. Yet Michigan remains control of the ball. The ball is laid out to Bosley, pass. who passes it to Pritch. Pritch dribbling, sends it over to Jones. It's going to be Woods. Woods charging towards the box. Lays it off to Zuge, yet Michigan State steals that ball. Mueller dribbling down the field. Passes it to Cox, who continues that run. Ball is then stolen back by the Michigan defense and is cleared out of bounds by Sparkowski for a Michigan State throw in. Another good job by the Michigan defense to kill the momentum and clear the ball out. Exactly. Gives them a little time to reset. A little bit of a tangle over there. Yet Michigan is able to come away with that ball. That is once again Sammy Woods. Quickly stolen by Michigan State and back to Michigan. Nice little cut there. 
by Kalita. Burl driving up the field. Burl dribbling. Lays it off to Brendan Steen who crosses it in. Takes a little bit of deflection off of Michigan State and is easily recovered by Parks. Another good stop by the Michigan State defense and Parks. Parks waiting to send the ball up until her team is fully adjusted. She's gonna lay that over to Illig. Passes it to Cox. Cox has a lot of space up that line. And she's really been dominating it for the duration of the game. Najira to Justina Gaynor. Mueller on the ball. Back to Gaynor. Gaynor with the shot and it's Ooh. wide. Another solid, another solid opportunity from the Michigan State Spartans this evening. Yeah, we're gonna, they're gonna have a lot of trouble scoring tonight. Uh, goalie Stephanie Sparkowski has only allowed eight goals this season. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good record for Sparkowski. Sparkowski with the goal kick. This ball bounces around midfield. Bosley with the clear, but is definitely knocked over in that. The ball goes into the stands. Definitely a far one. Michigan State set to throw it in. This isn't like baseball. If you get the ball in the stands, you don't get to keep it. You do have to throw it back. That is something back. about soccer. Yeah. Hallier with the throw in. Ends up out of bounds for a Michigan throw in. It's gonna be a substitution for the Wolverines here. Number six, Casey Lawrence coming into the game, replacing Abby Zuge. Michigan State, Sargent driving with the ball. Taking it down to the end line. Crosses it in, cleared by Taubert. Hallier receives from Michigan State. Lays it back to Sargent. Another attempted cross and blocked by, and blocked by Burl. Dalton on the ball. Attempting to send it towards Najira. And that's a goal for Michigan State. Number 12, Wicks, with a fantastic volley into the back of the net. That was a great shot by Wicks. Good offense by Michigan State, and only the ninth goal this season allowed by Stephanie Sparkowski. That's crazy. And let's take a look at the goal right here. Dalton lays it off towards the back post, and Nijira, who heads it to Jordan Wicks, perfect volley into the back of the net. Volleys are incredibly hard for people to time and hit correctly, so that was a very, very impressive goal by Jordan Wicks. Also an impressive header. And fantastic. Fantastic from every single player involved in that attack from Michigan State. Michigan standing over the ball at midfield, potentially looking for a little revenge. Definitely looking for a little revenge. Uh, we'll definitely see them trying to get more aggressive uh, approaching the goal. Exactly. Pritch on the ball right now for Michigan, lays it back to Burl. Burl to Brindenstein. Ball goes out of bounds for a Spartans throw in. Looks like there is a new player in for the Michigan State Spartans. Number six, MJ Andrus, chasing down that ball right there. A little bit of fresh legs. And that last goal for Michigan State was scored by Jordan Wicks, who hails from Brunswick, Ohio. Uh, she's a junior. So not her first rodeo with this Michigan-Michigan State rivalry. Definitely not. Taubert dribbling up the field. Little bit of a battle down the corner. Michigan recovers. 
Cross goes into the box towards Pritch. Pritch once again dribbling towards the end line. And Michigan State is able to clear the ball out of bounds for a little bit of a defensive reset. Michigan to throw the ball in. It's gonna be number six, Lawrence. Ball goes back to Lawrence, but is recovered by Michigan State. Mueller sending the ball up the field towards Sargent. Michigan recovers and lays it back to Sparkowski. Sparkowski switches fields and passes it to Bosley. Little bit of a mispass and Hallier recepts. Burl on the ball right now. Back to Brendan Stein. Over to Sammy Woods. Kalita to Brendan Stein. This Michigan State defense just relentless. Exactly. Not letting Michigan get up the field with the ball. Exactly. Michigan State attack looking very strong right now. Michigan defense definitely is having a little bit more of a challenging game. It's going to be a throw in for the Spartans, received by Sargent. And then it's going to flip around and be a throw in for the Wolverines. It's actually going to be a free kick for the Wolverines as Bosley's going to boot it up the field. Received by Michigan State. Michigan State attempting to settle. And the ball is cleared up to Sargent. In a little bit of a foot race for that, but ultimately it's going to go out of bounds for a Michigan throw in. Bosley throwing the ball in right now. He throws it into traffic, but gets the ball back. Exactly. And that's going to be another Michigan throw in. Ball goes up to Burl, who's battling right now with Hallier. And it's going to be cleared for another Michigan throw in. Ball makes its way over to Pritch. Little bit of a tangle over there. Pritch re-receives the ball. Is taken away by Mueller. Kalita on the ball right now, passing it back. Kalita once again able to steal the ball back from the Spartans. Lays it back to Taubert. Taubert sending it up the field a little too far for any of her fellow teammates to run onto. That's going to reset for a Spartans goal kick. Parks to kick the ball back in. She's going to opt to pass it to Hallier. Hallier dribbling. Attempts to send it upfield, it is blocked and goes out for a Michigan State throw in. Hallier passes it to Justina Gaynor, knocks it back to Dalton, knocks it back to Justina's sister Celia. And that's going to be a call against the Wolverines and a free kick for the Michigan State Spartans. Celia Gaynor to pass it to Hallier. Hallier dribbling up the field, lays it off to Sargent. Sargent able to beat her defender, continues to dribble it towards the goal. Sargent takes it towards the end line, but is shoved out of bounds by Michigan's number 25, Peters. Resulting in a Michigan goal kick. Take a look at this battle down the field. Really shows how aggressive this game is and how much this rivalry matchup means to these two teams. Ball goes up the field towards Brendan Stein. Back to Kalita. Kalita battling. Ball 
ball is going to go out of bounds for a Michigan throw in. Pritch on the ball right now, driving towards the goal. Take this shot, and it's going to be wide. Another missed opportunity for Michigan there. Definitely. Michigan is starting to inch a little bit closer to the goal, but still quite hasn't quite found the back of the net. Only has three shots compared to Michigan State's seven currently. Michigan hasn't made goalie Caitlin Parks' job too hard tonight. Definitely not. Parks has only had to make one save, whereas Sparkowski has made two for the night. A lot of wide missed shots, and Michigan yeah. State's defense is aggressive, just like an unstoppable force. Michigan runs into the wall most of the time they get down there. Definitely. A lot of shots have been taken out, have been taken wide this evening, a few less on target. Brendan Steen on the ball right now. Sends it up to Pritch. Recovered by Gaynor, who lays it off to Mueller. Intercepted by Bosley. Bosley lays it back to Peters. Passes it back to Bosley. Peters with the long ball up the field towards Z Pritch. Intercepted by Woods. And Michigan State is able to clear, but goes directly back to Taubert on the Michigan defense. Taubert sends it back to Sparkowski so both teams can reset. Ball goes out to Bosley. Pritch on the ball right now. Is able to beat her defender, sends it back to Bosley. Bosley with the long ball, intended target, Sammy Woods. And that's gonna be a foul on Sammy Woods. Michigan State player on the ground. It's gonna be a yellow card for Sammy Woods. First yellow card of the game tonight. That's another prime example of just how aggressive these two teams are getting. It's a rivalry game. People are on the ground, people are getting physical. And that's what you're gonna have to do to win this game. You're gonna have to fight. Exactly, a couple of Michigan players have already left the game injured. Kind of makes you wonder if the referee should have gotten the game under control a little bit earlier. Maybe dashed out a card in the first few minutes instead of waiting until there's 10 minutes left in the first half. Yeah, I mean, that would definitely set the tone for this game. Exactly. It's almost crazy how much a referee's influence really affects the game. It's going to be a cross into the box by the Spartans and cleared by Peters. Foul on Michigan State, and that's going to be a free kick for the Wolverines in their box. Wolverines should use this time to set up and really figure out how to break down that Michigan State defense, get in position. Exactly. The Wolverines are definitely going to have a lot to chat about during halftime. For sure. Sparkowski sends the ball up the field. Pritch trying to settle. She's able to. Attempts to thread the ball through the Michigan State defense, but is intercepted by Cox. Cox lays it back to Illig. Sends it over to Gaynor, who passes it to Dalton. Dalton towards Najira. Peters controlling for the Michigan defense. That's going to be Lawrence driving up the field right now for the Michigan Wolverines. She has Burl on her outside. Burl crosses it in. That's going to be a far off shot from Kalita. Had a lot of space at the top of the box. An unfortunate touch for Kalita right there. Another the close Wolverines. missed opportunity for the Michigan Wolverines. Definitely. The Michigan Wolverines have had a lot of shots for the night, but they haven't had a lot on target. Definitely something that the Wolverines might be stressing about. How do you think they can fix this? Do you think they can get down the field with a little more patience, take a little more time before you take a shot? Personally, if I were a player on the Wolverines, I would just try to think about simplifying. Honestly, some of the best goals can just be a pass in the back of the net. And so by not overthinking, you can really kind of settle. Michigan State driving towards the box. That's going to be a cross into the box and knocked in by Mueller. Second Michigan State goal for the evening. That's going to be number seven, Gabby Mueller. And that's what I mean about simplifying right there. Mueller with a perfect, just simple pass in the back of the net from a simple cross. Michigan over, over complicating a lot of their playing style. Whereas Mueller very, very calmly was able to handle that for a successful result. Yeah, and they just had got down the field really quickly and broke down Michigan's defense. There just wasn't enough players there to stop them. Exactly. 
perfect example right there. I honestly feel like Gabby Mueller just read my mind with that simple, simple touch into the back of the net. And that's Gabby Mueller's fourth goal on the season. And Michigan, once again, standing over the ball in the middle of the field, looking like they are going to try to amp up the pressure for the rest of this first half. This is Gabby Mueller's first, uh, first season as a Spartan. She is a transfer from Baylor. And I'm sure Gabby Mueller is happy to get another one in the back of the net for her new team. Michigan throw in. Looking like Lawrence is going to be throwing the ball in. Headed away by Michigan State. Lawrence on the ball still. Passes it back to Taubert. Ball gets passed to Peters, who then lays it off for Bosley. Bosley dribbling up the field right now. Passes it to Woods. With seven and a half minutes left in this game, Michigan, of course, has to try to continue scoring. But at this point, I would also be worried about defending. Exactly. Getting a little aggressive over on the sideline, yet it's just going to go out for a throw-in. Potentially. A lot of chatter between the Michigan players and the refs. Definitely. Both sides didn't exactly agree with that call. And so it's... look. It's looking like this might actually be a free kick for the Spartans as Hallier passes it back towards Gaynor. Gaynor sends it back to Hallier. Quickly closed in by two Michigan defenders, but is able to break through. Hallier driving towards the goal, lays it off to Sargent. Sargent with the cross in. Attempted block by Peters, a little bit of a miss hit, and the ball ends up back with Sargent. Sargent using some fancy footwork to try to get down that end line, and the ball is going to go out for a Michigan State corner. Michigan de defense has got to be better about getting in between these passing lanes and being quicker to stop the ball. Exactly. Michigan State really, really sticking true to their triangles, and they're able to quickly kind of pass around that Michigan defense. It's looking like the goal scorer, Mueller, is checking out for the half, is being replaced by number nine, Rania Sinhaj from Tinton Falls, New Jersey. The senior transfer from South Carolina checking in for the Spartans here. Hallier with the shot, and it's going to go wide. This is another opportunity for Michigan to get the ball down the field and try to punch one into the Spartans' defense. Exactly. Ultimately, ultimately the Wolverines have, one of, have two options right now. They can either spend a very, very long time trying to defend for the rest of the half to prevent the Spartans from scoring again, or they can try to drive towards that goal. Ball goes all the way back and is kicked out of bounds for a Michigan throw in. That ball went way over the stands and out of the stadium. Oh, definitely. There's been a couple of balls that have been kicked all the way out of the stadium on that side. Ball gets thrown in for the Wolverines. Sammy Woods dribbling, lays it off. Gonna be a cross into the box. Intended towards Burl, but it's knocked away. Ball bouncing around right in front of the Spartan goal. Michigan able to settle. Ball goes out to Bosley. Bosley with the cross into the box. Michigan State just simply opting to clear the ball out of play. It's going to be a throw in for Bosley. Michigan State's done a really good job of not giving Michigan any high percentage shots on goal. Exactly. Michigan State defense has really only allowed Michigan to take shots that, quite frankly, are not on target. It's a little bit of a tussle over there Definitely towards the sideline. That's going to be Elbows between were locked. Brendan Steen and for Michigan State, that was going to be Justina Gaynor. And Michigan State's going to come away with a free kick taken by her sister, Celia Gaynor. Received by Andrus. Once again, a little bit of a tangle. Jesse, this game's getting feisty. This game is getting feisty, but I was just thinking about the Gaynor sisters. 
How do you think it would feel to be on the field with your sister? Dude, you if I was on the rivalry? field with my sister, I think one of us would probably punch each other at That's some time. I don't know if I could do it. I know. So honestly, hats off to the Gaynor sisters for being able to play together. They must have a super close relationship. Definitely. And this Michigan, I think that speaks to the entire Michigan State team chemistry. Team chemistry. Exactly. They're looking really good out there tonight, really coordinated, communicative, and that's what's gotten two goals so far. 100%. Michigan once again trying to drive up the field. It's going to be a throw-in for the Wolverines. These last three minutes, they got to focus on defending, not letting Michigan State uh, get any more ahead than they are, and really trying to punch one in. Exactly. That half. Michigan tripped up over the ball right there. That's going to be Pritch winning a field kick for her, winning a free kick for her team. Wow, my apologies. Ball goes over to Bosley. Bosley sends it up. Into the Michigan box, attempted for Sammy Woods, yet it is cleared by the Spartans. Bosley heads it back over to Michigan's number 21. Another example of Michigan not really giving themselves an opportunity for a high percentage shot. Exactly. Just kicking it right to the Michigan State defenders. All right, Sammy Woods driving, lays it off to Brendan Stein on the, on the far side. Brendan Stein crosses it in towards that back post, cleared by the Spartans. Great opportunity for another setup, but no Michigan players are there. Exactly. Ball's going to go out of bounds for a Michigan State throw in with a minute and 50 seconds left in the first half. Looking like a substitution coming in for Michigan State. Number 23, Najira, is going to be checking out for number 22, Ella Jans, the freshman from Northville, Michigan. Spartans to throw the ball in. Ella Jans grew up in Michigan, went to high school in the area. She knows this rivalry inside and out, I'm sure. So definitely a good job by the Michigan State coach to get her in and get her experience uh, early on in her career. Exactly. Uh, to feel what this rivalry is really like. 100%. It's going to be Cox kicking the ball up the field towards Sargent. Sargent trying to turn, but the ball is intercepted by Tobert, yet it goes out of bounds for a Spartan throw in. We're in the final minute here. Stands are getting loud at the I was just going to say that. Stadium. A lot of noise coming from the stands right now. Fans supporting both Michigan and Michigan State in attendance. A very, very fun atmosphere here at Michigan Soccer Stadium in Ann Arbor. Once again, a little bit of a tussle near the sidelines. Everybody's on the ground. Oh man, yeah, definitely. It's gonna be a Spartan throw in. Spartan throw in with potentially 10 seconds left in the half. We'll see if they get it off. And with that, we have the end of the first half here at Michigan Soccer Stadium in Ann Arbor. Jesse, what do you think from that half? Michigan State up 2-0, any thoughts? Some key takeaways. Michigan has to get more opportunities for shots on goal. Michigan State needs to continue with this aggression. Um, you know, from what I've seen, if you are not on the ground, you're not trying hard enough. There's a lot of tussling out here. And let's take a look at this goal. Oh no, missed shot. <laughs> Here's a little bit of a replay recap of the first half here in Ann Arbor. 2-0 Michigan State currently. However, 2-0 is a little bit of a scary score to go into halftime with. You don't want to be overly confident and let your guard down so that the Wolverines can sneak back in there. But it also is enough of a lead where you're not incredibly anxious. If you're the Spartans, how would you handle that pressure, trying to make sure that they're still amping it up and not getting too comfortable? Well, I think you have to go into the second half knowing that Michigan is going to make some adjust adjustments on offense. You know, they're not really getting any good shots on goal, so I would tell your players, keep getting aggressive, keep hustling, uh, and keep doing what you're doing. I 100% agree. We'll be back after the half. This is Katherine Starshak and Jesse Krugel from Ann Arbor, Michigan. <laughs> 